Hello everybody, welcome to Sheepish Look at Human Resource Machine. My name is Gunna, aka Mr. Win and Sheep, and today we've got a game which teaches you how to program, although it stays fun. <laughs> Um, as you can see, it's got a similar art style to uh, Little Inferno and World of Goose, so it's got that kind of, I don't know, the game makes you happy, but also a bit creeped out because of the way everyone looks. Alright, so we're going to do this first level. Uh, the way the game works is basically it tries to teach you how programming language works in general and just help you understand the logic behind it, basically. So, this level asks us to do drag commands into this area to build a program. Your program should tell your worker to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it into the outbox. So these are your commands basically over here. This is the inbox, outbox. So I'm just going to do, uh, so this is basically take from the inbox and this is take from the outbox. So I'm just going to show you like this. I'm going to play my program now with just this command, take from the inbox. So I'm going to play, he takes it, and then that's it. Because I haven't told him where to put it or anything like that. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to tell him, put it in the outbox now. So he's going to take it, put it, and we're like, yeah, we're making some progress. Oh, no, not really, because uh, we haven't told him to do that with the other items as well. So I'm going to do that. Inbox, outbox, inbox, outbox. Play. I'm also going to speed it up a bit here, which is very. I'm really glad they decided to put that in there. And there you go. Level solved. Very damn easy. Man, I love the the art style of the game. It looks really cool. Also, I'm pretty sure this is like a real human hand texture on top of a drawing, which is a bit creepy. All right, so let's just. Uh, I'm going to do a few of the earlier levels, and then we'll jump to where I am. So I'm going to be solving new stuff. So like these, I can kind of. I already know how these work. Oh, nice! It's leaving my. Uh, <laughs> this is when I solved the program. I guess it just leaves it there in case you want to come back and look at it. So the way this level works, I guess whatever. I can just show you how I did it. So you unlock a new command here, basically, which is the jump command. So I need to grab each thing from the inbox and drop each one into the outbox again. You got a new command, you can drag, so basically, we, we want to do this with everything. Put everything from the inbox into the outbox, but because it would take forever, we can use the jump command. So, uh, let me just throw this out here so you can see. Uh, you just put it at the top, and then you can just tell it, okay, now when you get to here, you jump back to here. And, um, I made one really simple program once in high school, so, I mean, not simple, it was, it was a whole year's work, but... Uh, I, I can see how this would have definitely helped me, it kind of helps you just wrap your mind around it. And um, the devs have said that the game becomes very hard later actually, which is really cool to hear, so it can probably help uh, early learners and uh, more experienced people alike. Let's just go to something a bit more, uh, <laughs> this was just a cutscene I believe, um, the cutscenes are pretty nice as well. All right, let's just uh, let's go to let's go to something a bit more complicated. <laughs> you might be a bit confused because I'm kind of jumping a few levels. The game does a very good job of kind of giving you step by step process of um, so you kind of learn everything. So you can you might be feel a bit overwhelmed with seeing all this instantly, but the game doesn't do that to you. It's just because I skipped a few levels. So for each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the outbox. You got a new command. It adds the contents. Okay, I'm going to tell you what these other commands are first. So for each two things in the outbox in the inbox, I need to add them together. So, <laughs> oh man, how am I gonna explain this? I feel like a teacher now. Um, okay, the copy f to command, okay? The copy to command, basically I can take anything from here and then I can copy into one of these slots. So, uh, let's just start this from the beginning just so you can kind of understand. Yes, all right, let's delete that. All right, so I'm going to take something from the inbox. So I'm gonna take the number eight and I'm gonna copy it to the slot zero, okay? So then, I'm gonna need to take the next thing, and then add it to 8, and then put it in the outbox. That's what they want, so they want me to add 8 and 5, put it in the outbox, then put 8 and 1, put it in the outbox, then minus 9 plus 9, put it in the outbox. So I'm gonna do this. So then I'm gonna have 8 in this block, and then I can copy f no, and then I can, um, <laughs> wait, what am I gonna do? Okay, right, and uh, we've got the copy from uh, command here, which basically will take whatever is in this block and give it to the character. And then we've got add, which is whatever he's holding from here, I can add it to something that's on the floor. So I'm, when I make the program, you'll see it's, you'll understand it. So I'm going to do add, actually no, I'm going to do inbox, so he grabs the next block, which will be number 5 from the inbox, and then I'm going to do add to block 0, which will contain the number 8 in here. And I think that's it, and then I'm going to put it in the outbox, and then I'm going to do a jump so he just keeps repeating that. So I'm going to play this slowly so you can understand it. So he's going to take the 8. He's gonna copy two, and then he's gonna add this to this, bam, 13, put it in the outbox. Yeah, man, and this game feels so satisfying when you do it, like, you feel like a genius. And it's a really, it's a really cool system. I've also done this with my program, where you kind of have to, um, tell the program to store information somewhere, so that it can take it from somewhere else. So all this stuff is actually applicable to the real-life world. And, uh, it's cool, it shows which step it's going through, and, um, 
the, the program will crash and not know what to do if you don't tell it what to do and it's really really cool <laughs> it's really awesome man it's so satisfying I'm definitely gonna be playing this more it's really really cool alright so I think now the next level is something I haven't done yet so let's see so it seems to be able to split now I guess we'll just go into this and of course now the first level I'm gonna do on camera I'm not gonna understand at all oh who the hell is this who are you? This optional area is for high performing employees only. Oh god, <laughs> I went to the optional area. Is that you? Well, you're late. Seven years late. We need to make some changes around here. I want to see a 100% performance increase. From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. Oh god, so this is an optional level. I might fail miserably. What is this stuff? Oh, it's like you can have uh... Hang on, let me try. I can do this. Oh, cool. So you can like be trying multiple programs at once. Oh, that's really cool. And you can even copy this stuff. I don't understand what exactly this means. Your program's not on the clipboard. Try pasting into other rooms or emails or notepad or anywhere. I don't know. Can you actually paste into other stuff? I have no idea. I guess you can paste it here. That's cool. So you can work with multiple stuff. All right. So let's see. For each thing in the inbox, triple it and Alec box the result. How am I going to triple it? Oh, God. A self improvement tip. Where are we going with this? Please leave the high level decisions to management. Oh god, maybe I just have to come back to this after I've figured something else out. How the hell am I going to triple it? Uh, also, I should mention the music for this game is actually really, really cool. Alright, so I think, I guess they mean just multiply it by 3 then. So I'm going to copy it to 0, and then I'm going to... Um, and then I'm going to copy from 0, so I can take the 1, and then I'm going to add it to 0, and then I'm going to copy from zero and then add to zero will this work let's let's just see if the first step works so bam bam two and he's gonna do it again no that didn't work um, oh okay 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 I understand so oh man this is hard so I'm gonna copy from this and I'm gonna add it and then I'm going to put that into block one and then I'm gonna copy from block one one and I'm gonna add it to zero let's see if that works bam 10 put it there and take 15 not enough stuff in the outbox okay I think I've done that right though and then I'll take it to the outbox and then I'll jump and do it again I think I've solved it let's just speed it up and see oh come on yeah come on did that work? Yeah? Did that work? Yeah! Oh, man! Use six or fewer commands. Ooh, I got a challenge. Your current solution uses nine commands. Oh, I didn't complete that. Complete 24 or fewer steps. Oh, man, so you can actually do it with less commands. Oh, wow. These challenges can be very difficult, and in many cases, not possible to optimize both simultaneously with one solution. That is awesome, man. That is so cool. That was, that was really satisfying. Let's do let's do one more, a bit of an easier one. Maybe it'll teach me something new, give me a new command. Where do you see yourself in five years or ten years? I have a note here from your other boss that says, from this point on, your performance would be evaluated. The, <laughs> the other person said the exact same thing. What a treat. Oh man, I've got jump if zero now. Send all things that are not zero to the outbox. Okay, <laughs> you only got it. You got a new command. It only jumps only if the value are holding is zero. Otherwise, oh, so it's like an if function <laughs> or something like that. I don't remember. Or maybe it was an and. I don't remember from my uh, programming days. All right, so I need to send everything that is not a zero to the outbox. So I'm going to take that and, uh, oh, God, how the hell am I going to do this? Okay, then I put it in the outbox. I'm going to make it so jump if zero. Hmm. So I need to take... Oh my god, what? Okay, I'm gonna, like, because the second one's gonna be zero. I'm gonna tell it, okay, that one, don't put it in there. Instead, copy to zero. Let's just put it in there. And then I'm gonna make it do this jump if it's a zero. No, but that means that it's gonna take, it might take something else that's not a zero. Ah, what? I think I'm getting somewhere because my logic is, okay, so I'm gonna grab something from the inbox. And then I'm gonna put it in the outbox. But, so like if it's number four, it'll go to the outbox just fine, so let's get rid of this. But, if it's a zero, then it needs to jump here, and I need to tell it here what to do with the zeros. So I'm gonna tell it to copy to zero. Okay, I think this might work actually, let's just see. Oh, wait, wait, and then I need to. Wait, did that already fail? Oh, it did because it's trying to go there. Um, okay, and then wait, and then it, when I'm done, I need it to jump here. Mm mm. I need it to jump here. 
Yes. And then... <laughs> what? Um, I can make it jump the other way. Okay, that helps a lot. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. So, it's gonna jump here. Copy to zero. And then I'm gonna make it jump back. I didn't realize I could make it jump the other way. So I think this should work. So, okay. It skipped because it wasn't zero. It goes there. Now it's gonna be a... <laughs> no. Okay, now I need to make the jump. Um... Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to make the jump here instead, before that, and then it goes there. Alright, let's try that. But then if it comes here, okay, I need to make another jump, I think. Bam, let's try this. Alright, so, 8 makes it through, and then it's a 0. He th he copied it, or he threw it away, I don't know. Alright. What's that? That's a D. <laughs> Does that count? Okay, sure. This one's a 0. He's just gonna throw it away. I guess it can't copy. Oh, did I do it? I don't know if I did it the way I meant to, because I was expecting him to copy it. But I guess it worked. Yay, I did it! <laughs> oh, I know what happened. It's because it didn't even go to the copy 2. It just came here, and it jumped, and then it just jumped back. And then I guess because it jumped back, he just threw it away. Like, let me just try to get rid of this and see if it still works. Let's see if this zero. Yeah, he just throws it away. Nice, maybe I can complete a challenge if I do this. Because I used... I used fewer than six commands. I think I'm gonna get an extra challenge now. Yeah? No, I have to use few. Oh yeah, I did it though. Yeah. Nice. All right, awesome game. Check out the link in the description to buy the game on Steam. It's awesome. I mean, it's it really it really teaches you stuff. Like I can already relate it to stuff that I did before, and it would have helped me a lot. And it's really fun, and you feel awesome about yourself when you do it. And it's got cool music and nice art. And it's just such a great game, and it's got good replay value if you want to try completed challenges and do it in uh, less coding lines, which actually helps as well in the real life. But yeah, it's awesome. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it, it'll help me out a lot. Until next time, goodbye, I love you!